Hey y'all, I'm Callie. And this is my husband, Ashton. We met in a classic whirlwind, boy meets girl romance. It didn't take us very long to know we wanted to get married. So, after one and a half years of laughter and smiles, Ashton proposed. We decided to get married shortly after and got married in March of 2019. Knowing we wanted a family, we did not hesitate. And that is when we adopted our fur baby, Dami. A human baby proved to be a little more difficult than we thought. We are the Rowell fam and this is our TTC journey. Hey y'all, it's me. Um, so I figured I'd give you guys an update. It'll be really quick because it is hot out, but I like the lighting out here much better than in the apartment. So, um, yeah, I know it's been a while since I've given an update, but that's okay. That is okay. That's perfectly okay. Um, like I said, it's been a while. There hasn't really been much to update on. Um, I have found out that um, there is a surgery that can be done to correct um, the bicornuate uterus, which if you don't know already, I have what's called a bicornuate uterus. Um, I will link a video where I kind of explain what that is. Um, along with another diagnosis I got from an ultrasound. Um, so I'll link that there, here, one of the two. Um, so I also found out that the insurance that we have, even though it is technically considered an elective surgery, that um, it covers it. Um, however, living in Michigan um, because of COVID-19 and everything elective surgeries have not been allowed um, that in even includes um, knee and hip replacements so those were considered elective surgeries so if people can't even get knee and hip replacement surgeries what well, makes me think the governor would allow me to get my bicornuate uterus fixed um, so, it is, like I said, um, technically a elective surgery. So, um, I'll have to talk to my OB next time I go see him about what the steps would be to see if I qualify for that surgery or if that surgery is going to be necessary. Um, as I mentioned in the video where I kind of explain it, bicornary uterus could cause late-term miscarriage and preterm um, labor, um, which could cause stillbirth, miscarriage, um, unfortunately. So, um, definitely want to reduce any risk of that. And when I heard and did research on bicornary uterus, I kind of almost had to grieve the loss of a dream and that dream is of mine to have a home birth. I would love to have a home birth unmedicated um, but I also know that sometimes that is not possible and I will have to just let go and let God because I know that he is in control of everything. Um, so yes, like I said, I figured I would give you guys an update. I am looking into that surgery to see, um, what exactly it is, um, and what it entails as far as recovery as well. Um, because as you know, I live very far from my family, so it's not like my mom can come and take care of me like that. 
um, because she also takes care of my nephew. So that, um, that kind of makes things a little difficult and my mother-in-law takes care of um, her dad. So that's not necessarily an option and um, Ash doesn't necessarily have a lot of PTO. So, which is paid time off. Um, so we can't necessarily afford for him to take off a long time for recovery. So just things that I'm thinking about and um, considering uh, because it's a lot to think about and consider. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later and I'll update you guys more when I have more of an update. Like I said, um, with COVID-19 and everything, it makes it a little difficult to plan um, these sorts of things or to talk to my OBGYN about it because I can't go see him. Um, at least I couldn't, but I think now I can. Um, so we might look into setting up a new appointment. I should probably call and see about that. Um, so hopefully things on the horizon. Um, just keep praying for us. Keep praying for other couples that you know that are struggling with infertility. Um, it, it's not uncommon. One in eight couples struggle with infertility. So um, pray for people you know that have it, are struggling with infertility, and just keep those, keep that in your prayers because you never know what people are struggling with, and sometimes people don't say they're struggling with infertility, so you may not know. Pray for those people too because they don't necessarily have that outlet of talking and they carry it inside and that's a really heavy burden to carry. Um, especially alone and that's part of why I love all the support from you guys um, it means a lot um, to me at least um, and I'm pretty sure it means a lot to Ash as well so I'm very thankful for you guys and I'll see you guys later bye <music>